I was a little girl, I'd heard stories of heaven, about colours that existed beyond what any eye has seen or any mind could conceive of. I'd heard of a peace which was palpable, which was everyone's portion. And with each year that I circled the sun, I grew bigger and taller and more resolute that heaven was hidden in the hearts of dream chasers, soul searchers and truth seekers. I danced a sanguine song and found a land before time. On the rainbow reef, far from the familiar, as though it was set aside solely for those seeking answers to life's secrets. A place where you are broken for the better, mended and made whole, lost and then found. Just long enough to create a memory. Memories such as these. on this boat. Are you going to say hello to the vlog? Children of the internet? <laughs> oh, you are. Why don't you tell everybody what we're doing today, Ms. Ava? Snorkeling. What are you doing? Snorkeling. Snorkeling. There's a whole heap of beanbag bums over there. So Lani's been quite productive because she's reading. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny because, well, we're in paradise and she's reading. So, oh well, each to their own. Reading's great. I'm gonna dig myself a hole here. Um, anyway, we are going on a reef snorkel today. And that's for the next couple of hours and then thereafter we'll come back, clean up, wash off, all that kind of stuff. And then we're going for a, a village visit, an authentic village visit. We get escorted with a guide and that's just to, uh, we meet a whole heap of children is my understanding. And that should be a real treat as well. It's really overcast and it looks like, oh, it looks like there's a lot of rain over there. But thankfully in Fiji it passes quickly. I think we've arrived at the Rainbow Reef. If the colour of this ocean is anything to go by, we've arrived. It's amazing. Better than the pictures. Oh my goodness, the water is amazing. The water is unbelievable here. I've never seen so many blues and greens and it is like, there's like eight different shades of blues and greens all intermingled together and it's iridescent and it's sparkles and it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It is, look at this, look at this. <sighs> this is the most reef. I don't even know if my camera's picking it up right now. It's head not crazy. here on the Rainbow Reef with the family and I love it. It's my third time doing it and I am a complete convert now and we've just arrived at a second location. We're gonna jump off the top of the boat and then into this water. Check out this new section of water. Look at that. It is like crystal clear green blue. Wait, wait girls, don't jump. Wait for mommy, I'm coming to jump with you. You can go. Remember 
Snorkeling for the first time in the open ocean on the Rainbow Reef in Fiji make you feel? Well, not what I thought it would be. Pardon? Not what I thought it would be. What did you think it would be? Um, well, it looks better, like, better than it would be. what you saw but how did it make you feel? Okay, so who is this woman and what have you done with Julia? Actually what have you what have you done with Lost and Found Traveller? Because I have truly embraced the rainbow reef spirit. Best day ever. <laughs> Best day. Best day ever. We're about to go into the village. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm not even gonna try. But you have to have your shoulders covered and your knees covered to be culturally respectful. And I'm not really sure the dress code for men, but. So she's wearing this. Oh, you should. <laughs> just arriving at a local village now. And uh, I, this is our host of the village. And he's just explained that his village used to be out sort of towards where that red flag is and their village is now here 80 years ago and uh, explaining that was the effect for them of global warming where their village is now underwater and the, um, or a little village and the kinder kids are welcoming us with song This is the kindergarten. Some girls are trying guava fresh of the tree for the first time. So these little kitties picked for them. location has been more than we thought we were going to get. Kind of like what we hope the gap here would be about. Hello, haven't I been AWOL? 
It's a little bit of a funny day today. Currently, just before midday, and our morning was off to a strange start. Paige woke yesterday not feeling very well. Just We've done so much swimming and so much snorkeling and all that sort of stuff that um, I don't think her ears have responded very well, and so she has a lot of ear pain in her one of her ears in her right ear, and she just... Uh, life's just generally quite unpleasant for her at the moment, so we've had to find a doctor who... <laughs> we were okay with um, and we're so remote so removed when I say a doctor that we we're okay with like there's lots of different um, you know when you come somewhere very remote there's all different ways about treating things and so we just wanted some antibiotics because we knew that's what she needed we just and so we just wanted somebody that was going to be able to have her be on the mend and back up and running and feeling good again um, and so they found a who's meant to be a fantastic doctor at a private clinic um some american doctor or something like that in one of the islands so we're doing that later this afternoon and apparently that's the doctor that they take all the guests to when they come here um and it kind of had to you know meet certain criteria i think for travel insurance as well so there are a few hoops that we had to jump through everything's new this is definitely an adventure hey, ava why don't you tell everyone what you're doing i am drawing all the little creatures and fish that we saw in the ocean when we went snorkeling. So, do you know the name of this one? Dory. This one's the dory fish? Yeah. And mommy, this is what the blue starfish looked like, but it was giant. Is that the one that you actually saw when you went snorkeling? Yeah. Wow, I know. Happy? Are you serious? No way. It was. What? Daddy said it was huge as well. Daddy said it. Yeah, Daddy said the starfish was the size of his head. I just thought Ava was ex exaggerating. I was also doing the sea cucumber and the clownfish that they had in the beach. It's different to the one in the um, movie by the Nemo. It is. The clownfish we saw were quite different, weren't they? Whoa. They looked more like that one, didn't they? Yeah. No, going to the doctors is never on the itinerary. I know, we have to take Paige to the doctor. Um, Lani's ears are playing up a little bit, but Paige is very much so. So, she's in a lot of pain. And so, they've organised for us to go see a local doctor that the guests that come, the guests from around the world that visit here come and see. Um, and so, yeah, hopefully everything goes smoothly and we get the medicine we need for her, the antibiotics or whatever it is that she's going to need. No. And just like that, unexpectedly, we've arrived on another island. Off to see a doctor. We caught a boat for 25 minutes um, and apparently we had a 3 o'clock appointment and the doctor's here until 4. Uh, and he knew we were coming so we had the appointment and we've got here. We didn't know we were coming to. Our drivers brought us here but the doctor's not there and the clinic's closed so we don't, we don't really know what's going to happen now. So Andrew's just on the phone now to our resort trying to work out um, what we should do we've been brought to this new clinic over here but apparently we're seeing another doctor but no one's expecting us and uh, we want to see the doctor that we were organized to see not not some other doctor just because you know like the one that we were seeing has been vetted um, so we kind of don't really know what's going on and we're in the middle of nowhere like quite literally nowhere we have no idea where we are We're just getting out here now. But apparently that's where you go after hours, but... I don't know, that looks, that looks better to me than this. I don't know, the driver seems to think we go here, but I really don't know. The view's pretty, but I don't really care about the view right now. So we've just arrived back from the clinic now. Um, that was our car that we came in 
and then just into this area here the boots are really pretty as in you know nice colors and this is it and we're back thank you so much as our driver and now we're back headed <sighs> what a day good morning it's 5 30 a.m it's saturday we leave on monday uh and i just thought i'd quickly bring you up to speed with what happened yesterday and all that kind of stuff because <coughs> it wasn't it was uh not the best day so we've been doing a lot of swimming a lot of snorkeling as you know we went to the doctor all that kind of stuff turns out um I have suspicion now, a pretty strong suspicion just based on a few things that we found out afterwards that we didn't actually see a doctor. We saw a nurse under the guise of a doctor. That has nothing to do with the resort at all. Um, they can't control that. <laughs> they weren't, they weren't, you know, we went somewhere else and it was all set up for us. But when we got there, the things that were set up um, didn't happen, but they, you know, they can't control that. Anyway. That's what ended up happening, so I was not happy. <laughs> and then we came back to the resort. We got the medicine, so that's a good thing. We got the medicine, our driver was great. So like our transfer to get to the other island to see the doctor, that was arranged through the resort. That was brilliant, that was from them. Um, our driver was fantastic, also by the resort, that was great. The medical staff thereafter, the people that we had to see and do all that kind of stuff, that was, not ideal how it turned out but we did get the medicine and that's that's really what matters um the girls then had a really rough night it has been a really really difficult night they've been in uh huge amounts of pain it took them ages to sleep like i'm talking i think they woke up about four times um in the night andrew's been a trooper he's been with them um and so yeah, he was really, really good. Uh, I cuddled one of them for a bit, but was asleep half myself. <laughs> and I just hope that the medicine kicks in quickly. I hope that it's effective. I hope that it works. I hope that it's the right thing they need. It was the most interesting medical examination that was ever done, because I don't even know if it was a doctor. Like, no weight was taken, no height was taken. And I don't know if out of ignorance, whether that's just how it's done here. I don't know, we're learning, you know, this is what happens. You don't realize how much you take for granted in your own country until you're somewhere else. So we don't know, maybe this is normal, maybe it's not. But today's a new day. That's an amazing sunrise that's about to happen. The storm has passed. There was literally, not, metaphor <laughs> not metaphorically, there was literally a storm yesterday. I lasted for the bulk of the afternoon and then and all through the night today looks like a completely different day um, I'm praying for the kids that that is this you know it's also the med the antibiotics really start to kick in quickly I don't know if it's the right dosage that they need it's the only dosage we were given by the nurse doctor doctor nurse who knows who knows <laughs> um, but yeah, we're praying and they've got medicine and we've got stronger painkillers now. That was good. Andrew had to call one of the resort staff in the middle of the night as well saying, look, do you have something other than Panadol? Because Panadol just was not doing it. So we've got some stronger stuff. Um, that was, you know, I'm understated about it because this is YouTube. And last night was our family life. So I'm understating deliberately some of it then we need to get to Na from there to Nadi and from Nadi to Portland and what's the soonest or short uh, that we can do that we just found out that the flight that we, we tried to cancel our existing flights because okay, we need so to leave Fiji ASAP Pages health situation um, where their in ear infection has turned really nasty um, and so yeah, we just need to leave and we can't get the proper medical help that we need. I don't want to go into how and why, but we can't. We've tried and we can't get it. Um, the resort has been amazing, I'll say that much. Well, actually, the owner's wife. Yeah, so <laughs> the resort owner's wife has been amazing. She's incredible. Um, 
but we're just getting some bad news now. We did have six tickets to get out of here 48 hours earlier and now it looks like there were six available and an hour and we obviously there's only five of us. It looks like in the time that it took us to find out if there were flights then say okay we'll call you right back and then tee up a boat and a driver to get us there. It looks like it's we've missed those six tickets. Well five of those six tickets. Um, this has just been the biggest debacle. Uh, today has been like a complete write-off. Um, it's just such a strange feeling to be in somewhere, to be in a place that is so beautiful and so idyllic and you feel okay, so, so the opposite of that. So you should be so peaceful and we're so the opposite because um, we need to get stuff done and it's not happening. Uh, what was the verdict? Oh, he's finding out now. Andrew's on the line with Fiji Airways. What was that? What is the verdict? It's not on the flights. That's it, we missed it? There's no way to get, no way to, get to Mandy tomorrow. Have to wait till Monday. You promised me to tell if there's anything haunting you. I'm trying to do this really discreetly because I was filming the doctor and I don't really know if I'm allowed to. I think it's fine. It would be fine, but I was still trying to be discreet about it. Anyway, it's like uh, 7.45. It's Lani's birthday today. So I haven't vlogged very much because there hasn't been a great deal to vlog. I didn't even end the vlog last night to say goodnight, so sorry. Um, but we are doing so much better today for so many reasons. One, first thing before we could even properly open our eyes, there was a doctor on our doorstep at our villa in the resort. It's very remote here. It is just, it's far, it's far from everywhere and anything. It would have taken him a long time to get here, but he came and we are so thankful to him and to the resort and to um, everyone that has prayed for us because we have not for the last two days enjoyed it. Um, sickness makes things very difficult to enjoy. And anyway, today is much better because that happened. And then um, it's Lani's birthday and I'm on, on my way to breakfast with the family. We're just gonna try and try and make her day special as best we can just by, um, I don't know what we're gonna do. Basically whatever she wants to do, it's her birthday. And so whilst, you know, trying to um, make sure that everyone else is okay as well because they're on their first round of proper antibiotics now. That first lot that you saw us get, the doctor that came was like, no, this is nuts for a whole heap of reasons, but he's like, nope, not those antibiotics. So we really, good morning, Bula. So um, we have a lot of confidence now that who we saw knew what he was talking about, knew what he was doing, was pulling out of his his bag all the kind of medicine that we recognized and um, brands that doctors back at home would give us if we had the same kind of thing. So we are feeling good. Long ramble, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, for breakfast, breakfast now getting birthday presents. Let's see how you look in them, baby. Hey, hey, birthday girl, look at you. Yeah. 
So you have to kiss the nearest boy, which is your dada. It's been an amazing 10 days, highs, lows, everything in between. But most importantly, it's been unforgettable. This is the farewell. Just what it was You guys can see this is about as real as it gets. One baby plane, one tiny plane, and rain clouds, so wish us luck. <laughs> We're off the party. We just arrived at Nandi um, International Airport and we are checking in just into a transit hotel. Just We're not even here for 24 hours, just waiting to catch a flight out tomorrow morning. I'm so exhausted, I even forgot to vlog this arrival and first impression and Andrew was like, I'm like, gonna vlog this. I'm like, well, yes, yes I am. Here we are. So, no frills, no bells, no whistles, nothing. It's just crash, as long as it's clean and safe. Arriving. So the website makes it look a whole heap bigger. This is very tiny. But that being said, I checked it out on TripAdvisor and it reviewed fine. Like everyone said, it's a good transit hotel. There was next to no complaints, so here we are.